2020 was a challenging year. What was supposed to be the NUS Choir's 40th anniversary year had passed us by, in silence and without fanfare. Nevertheless, one year on, we're extremely glad to be back on stage and to sing together, albeit in a very different setting. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the NUS Choir's first ever digital concert, Many Waters Cannot Quench Love. My name is Wei Yang. And I am Yu Ying. Together, we are your MCs for this concert. A member of the NUS Center for the Arts, the NUS Choir comprises many students from various faculties who share a strong passion for choral singing and a common goal of choral excellence. Formed in 1980, the NUS Choir has grown in size and accomplishment to become an internationally recognized semi-professional choir under the esteemed tutelage of Professor Nelson Quay. Amidst the troubled waters of the COVID-19 pandemic that keeps us apart, we adapted and persevered, connecting to and inspiring each other through our shared love for music. This year, we voyage into uncharted waters as we see a paradigm shift in the practice of our art. The NUS Choir will be presenting our performance in two parts. The first portion celebrates Renaissance music, the foundation of what we sing today as we look back upon what we've achieved in the past 41 years. The second portion revels in the contemporary, eager to accompany the world in its progress forward. With each setback, we emerge stronger and better prepared to face what is to come. The countless ways of tribulations will not extinguish our love for choral singing. As such, unlike previous concerts, the NUS Choir will perform in quintets or groups of five this time around. Let us begin with our first Renaissance song, Flora Give Me Ferris Flowers, one of John Wilby's more well-known works. This bow magical details the cheeky trees in the meadows between the speaker and his lover. Conducted by our student conductor, Gerald Ng, please welcome our quintet, Lian Tan, Jasmine To, Crystal Ong, Irfan, and Christopher Tan. Our second song will be In Ye Yunyo et Fletu, or Weeping Bitterly by Thomas Tallis. This piece calls upon priests to beg for the people's forgiveness at the altar, and is intended to be sung in the period of Lent, particularly on Ash Wednesday. Please welcome the quintet, consisting of Rachel To, Chan Pei Jia, Fat Tui Zeng, Amir Mirza, and Keith Liu, as well as our conductor, Professor Nelson Kui.
All Creatures Now, composed by John Bennett, is our next song. This cheerful English madrigal has complex polyphonic structures and is part of the triumphs of Oriana, written in honor of Queen Elizabeth I. Let us invite Li Peiting, Chelsea Angelina, Cindy Evangeline, Gerald Ng, and Neo Jin Hao to the stage. More creatures now. Thomas Morley brings us our next song, Fire Fire My Heart. Originally composed in 1595, this polyphonic madrigal depicts a ballet about burning love and desire. The unpredictable and staggering entrances of the different voices emulate a beating heart while expressing feelings of excitement and anxiousness. Performing this piece is our male chorus, consisting of Clement Yu, Clement Chai, Lucas Wan, Avinash Velavan, and Li Wei Yang. Conducted by Professor Nelson Quay. Kyrie, or Lord Have Mercy, by Giovanni Pierluigi da Palestrina. This excerpt from Missa Papae Marcelli is a humble prayer to God for mercy and forgiveness with a light and calming melody. Let us welcome Joycelyn T, Ang Wei Pin, 
Wang Junmei, Brendan Lee, and Pei Yuxiang, and our conductor, Professor Nelson Kuei. Exultate Deo, or Sing Joyfully to God, is another song by Palestrina, taken after Psalm 81. This religious piece focuses on the first three lines of the verse, highlighting the joys and jubilations in the words. Please welcome our conductor, Professor Nelson Kui, and Mamie Mo Wu, Elizabeth Roy, Lois Faith Yao, Ryan Neo, and Kwek Ka Leong.
Hodie Christus Natus Est, or Hear the Glad News Today, is our next song. Composed by Jan Peiterzun Zweiling and edited and translated by John Rutter, this joyful motet celebrates the birth of Christ. Intended to be sung during Christmas, Zweiling inserts nowhere in the place of some alleluias as a seasonal touch. The last song for our Renaissance portion, this song is an apt greeting to our contemporary portion coming up next. Let us invite Magdalene Chen, Jessica Mary Listio, Amanda Ng, Marcus Lim, and Sun Boxy to the stage. Oh And now we move on to the second half of our repertoire, the contemporary pieces. We start off with O Radiant Dawn, composed by James Lloyd Macmillan, with the words from the fifth O Antiphon, O Orient. The exuberant motet is meant to be sung on the 21st of December, where the people await the arrival of a new dawn. Starting off the second half of our concert are Kalista Chu, Wang Yu Ying, Lin Yun Xing, Xiao Nandi, and Wang Ziyue will be conducted by our student conductor, Eugene Cheng. Please welcome them. Oh,
Next, we have Ivo Antonini's Ave Maristella, or Hail, Star of the Sea. The hymn, sung in the Middle Ages, is a serene prayer for peace and comfort for the faithful. The hymn is reimagined in intricate and unconventional harmonies, yet retains its tranquility. Please welcome the female chorus, Talia Lim, Ellie Lim, Lim Tiaoying, Beatrice Ng, and Morgan Ropian, and our conductor, Professor Nelson Kui.
Set to a poem by Mario Benedetti, our next song is Te Quero, or I Adore You, composed by Aboto Favero and arranged by Liliana Cangiano. Beyond love between a couple, the piece speaks of a love for humanity, a heartwarming song that shows solidarity for those who are oppressed and optimistic hope for a better future. Let us invite to the stage Celeste Ao, Lim Li Xuan, Samuel Tan, Brian Lim, and Sun Boxy, as well as Professor Nelson Kui.
Our next song is titled Et in Terra Pax, or And Peace on Earth, composed by Joan Shimko. A choral meditation, it expounds on humanity's dream of peace on earth while threatened by the realities of life. The light and homophonic prayer becomes agitated in the body of the song as fear creeps in, before resolving once more into a serene hope for peace. Please welcome our next female chorus, Fayola, Yang Yujie, Papa Tarada, Apita Nang Siri, Yi Yanling, and To Hong Hun, and our conductor, Professor Nelson Kui. Eric Essenvalds is the composer of our next song, simply titled Trees, with lyrics derived from a poem by Joyce Kilmer. It describes the beauty of nature beyond the mastery of humankind, admiring the creation of God. Our student conductor, Eugene Cheng, conducts this quintet, who are Erica Lee, Zoe Ng, Dominicus Bimaputra, Marcus Ku, and Jackson Lim. Let us welcome them.
whose hungry mouth is pressed against the sweetest breast, a slowing rest, a tree that looks at God all day and lives a leafy arms to pray, a tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her But only God can make a tree upon whose bosom snow has lain, who in turmoil lives with rain. The bones are made by fools like me. Next up is Ubi Caritas by Ola Yellow, otherwise known as Where Charity Is. This piece is often performed in the Catholic Church for Mass, reminding the audience to both love and fear God. This quintet consists of Chloe Kao, Kim Soo Bin, Matthew Kwok, Edwin Ng, and Eugene Cheng. Let us welcome the quintet and our student conductor, Gerald Ng. Oh 
Last but not least, the choir will perform our title song, Set Me as a Seal by Rene Clausen. Adapted from the Song of Solomon, it conveys the grief of losing a loved one while commemorating the love that continues on, and reminds us to continue moving forward. As the song ends, many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. The NUS Choir will continue forging ahead amidst the trials and tribulations, strengthened by our love for choir. Let us welcome our final quintet, Jess Chin, Glennis Fu, Brigitta, Neil Chen and Ryan Sim, conducted by Professor Nelson Kui. With that, we have come to the end of our first ever digital concert, Many Waters Cannot Quench Love. Thank you, everyone, for your continuous support. But as usual, before we say goodbye, there are a few important people whom we would like to thank. First up, for sitting through countless Zoom sessions with us, teaching us how to improve ourselves as singers. We would like to thank our voice tutors, Mr. Ruben Lai and Mr. Kane Teo. We would also like to thank our student conductors, Eugene Cheng and Gerald Ng, for all their hard work in preparing the choir for this digital concert under such extraordinary circumstances. Last, but certainly not least, for his unwavering dedication to the NUS Choir and his guidance throughout all these years, especially during these unprecedented times, we would like to say a big thank you to our artistic director, Professor Nelson Kui. Additionally, we would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to all those who work behind the scenes, without whom this digital concert would not be possible. To Ms. Eleanor E, our group manager from the NUS Center for the Arts, Ms. Geraldine Siu and the staff from University Cultural Center, and Mr. Ho Chu Xuan and the team from Handiwork Visuals, the choir is grateful for your role in making this concert a reality. To our families and friends, Thank you for always understanding and supporting us in our passion for singing. We're deeply appreciative of your support and patience, especially those of our loved ones who have had to put up with our singing at home from time to time. And lastly, thank you for tuning in to our first digital concert. If you'd like to hear more from us, please do follow us on our social media platforms that are Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at the NUS Choir. Once again, that's Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at the NUS Choir. 
Now, it has always been a tradition for the NUS Choir to end off each concert with our choir anthem, Lyndon Lee. Composed by Ray Vaughan Williams, the song describes a beautiful orchard named Lyndon Lee and makes references to this one apple tree being the constant within the orchard. Although we are unable to come together to sing our choir anthem, just like how the apple tree is always there in Lyndon Lee, the NUS Choir shall remain a home that all our members, past and present, can always find refuge in, no matter how far away or apart we are. As the poem ends, I be free to go abroad or take again my homeward road to where for me the apple tree do lean down low in Linden Lee. Take care and stay safe. <laughs>